stress, worries, shift work, night parties, jet lag, cities of light and noise. We are surrounded by so many things that harm our sleep. We don't fall asleep easily or wake up multiple times. Who has quality sleep these days? Is it bad to constantly sleep less hours than we need? Or don't sleep at all once a week? When I have a bad night's sleep, my reasoning slows down next day, my creativity and memory decrease, and I get easily irritated. What is the maximum time we can last before losing brain performance? And how much does a single sleepless night affect us? And what about shift workers? Let's see the answers to all these questions. Sometimes we stay awake for hours on end because of work, party, or even worries. And we need to understand what happens to our brain when we don't sleep. And by the way, is sleeping on medication good for our brain? Without good sleep, we don't consolidate the memories of what we have learned. Sleep before and after studying plays a critical role in memory. During the night, the brain reorganizes new information with the knowledge we already have. We might change our mind after a good night's sleep. Important decisions are always made after at least one night of good sleep. Even after a single night of insufficient sleep, our cognitive ability decreased by 25%. Imagine those who haven't slept well for months or years. One study in military personnel showed that prolonged lack of sleep affected the ability to make judgments of moral justice. If you don't sleep well for a while, don't fully trust your thoughts and senses. A study was conducted to assess the impact of driving with 4 hours of sleep and total sleep deprivation compared to driving with alcohol. Mean blood alcohol content was of 0.07%. The results revealed that those who drank alcohol and those who didn't sleep had a sharp decline in driving safety. Those who slept 4 hours have only minor changes. Sleep problems in kids and teenagers can lead to depression in young people. On the other hand, depressed people generally produce less serotonin. Without serotonin, we don't have melatonin, so we don't fall asleep. These people sometimes take benzodiazepine drugs to sleep, but they are actually sedated, not real sleeping. We don't have a restful and regenerative sleep taking anxieties. Over time, our brain ages faster. A few minutes ago, we saw how not sleeping well affects our reasoning. Several studies indicate that when we don't sleep well for a few days, we can start having psychotic experiences, such as hallucinations and paranoia. We really can trust what we hear and see when we don't sleep well. Might not be true. During the night, we produce melatonin, which helps us fall asleep, among other things. One of the main ones is to detoxify the brain. After all, it's the most powerful antioxidant we have. If we can fall asleep, or we have a chemical force at sleep, we don't produce melatonin. Without melatonin, oxidation increases, which creates inflammation and can lead to brain degeneration, also called neurodegeneration. A sleepless night increases the amount of beta amyloid produced, an inflammatory protein that we find in Alzheimer's disease, such as tau protein. Alzheimer's disease is bidirectionally associated with poor sleep quality. That is, sleeping poorly can increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. On the other hand, Alzheimer's disease causes sleep problems, which further aggravates this disease. Shift workers suffer from sleep problems caused by the constant shifting between night and day shifts, which can increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease, uh, cognitive and mental balance decline. But also students and workers suffering from immense pressure or professional conflicts. Airline crews 
subject to jet lag and people in chronic stress. Does a short night's sleep affect us? One single night of poor sleep is enough to increase brain toxicity and decrease cognitive capacity. Prolonged insufficient sleep for mouth can cause psychosis or depression and accelerate brain degeneration. How long can we last without losing cognitive performance? 16 hours. After this time, we start gradually lose capabilities. The brain, after 16 hours, needs 8 hours of sleep. Sleeping is of nourishment, my Portuguese ancestors used it to say. Don't neglect your sleep, it's priceless. While a night without sleeping is recoverable, not sleeping properly for months or years can cause permanent damage. Even with medication, as you see, most of the medication that we have don't trigger brain repair, so you are not really sleeping, you are sedated. If you want to improve your sleep, there are techniques, supplements and routines that can help you get back to proper sleep. Remember, if you don't take care of yourself, nobody will. In the next video, I will explain the effects of sleep loss on our body. So, if you don't subscribe, please do. It helps me a lot with the algorithm, but also to YouTube let you know when I publish the next video. Hopefully you like this one. I love it. See you in the next one.